A blessed day to everyone. My name is Chris, and I'm going to present to you a video tutorial on how to compute descriptive statistics in Excel from a given set of raw or ungrouped data. Descriptive statistics present numerical values that summarize a big set of data about its central values, spread, shape, and other location measures. In order to compute descriptive statistics, a set of raw or ungrouped data needs to be encoded in one column in Excel in order to be able to use the data together with its data title or label. In this video, descriptive statistics will be computed using my previously designed Excel template since other summary values are added. It means that the values in the descriptive statistics in Excel will be used to fill up my previously designed Excel template in this video. No manual computation will be made for all the descriptive statistics since my Excel template does them all. Let this previously encoded data to be used in this video be the data on age. But before this data will be used, let me introduce my Excel template. My Excel template is here having cells that are colored blue. The cells that are colored blue are the only ones that needs to be encoded or uh, filled up because the cells that are colored yellow are programmed for formulas. Now, let us proceed with filling up the template with the data. The data will be aged in years. There are 100 respondents replying or answering the questionnaire with their age. Highlight the title together with its data. Right click, copy. Then proceed to the Excel template. The Excel template has a worksheet entitled Data Ungrouped. There is an instruction that data title will be encoded in cell B6. And the first data will be occupying B7 and downwards for the rest of the data. Since age in years starts with data title, one can just do right click here in B6 and paste the data title and the data are now pasted, copied in column B starting from B6 with the data title. It is equivalent to encoding the data title in B6 and encoding the data values starting from B7. The next thing to do is to compute the descriptive statistics inherent in Excel by clicking the data tab. After clicking the data tab, click the data analysis at the upper right hand of the screen. After clicking the data analysis at the upper right hand of the screen, the data analysis dialog box will appear and then click descriptive statistics. After clicking descriptive statistics, click OK. Then the descriptive statistics dialog box will appear. While the cursor or I-beam is blinking inside the text box of input range, highlight 
the title together with its data. After highlighting the title together with data, the descriptive statistics dialog box will be shown again. Then, decide on the group by. Since the data is encoded in column B, the check or the filling up of the button should be by columns. Another, since... The title of the data, which is age in years, let's proceed upwards, is highlighted also. Check on the labels in first row. Because the title of the data, which is age in years, is included in highlighting. Next is output options. It can be output range, which means that you choose where in this worksheet the output of the descriptive statistics in Excel will be placed or the new worksheet ply. In this video, new worksheet ply will be chosen. Then, for descriptive statistics purposes, be sure to check the summary statistics. Check summary statistics. And then click OK. After clicking OK, a new worksheet is provided by Excel, added by Excel, and its name is Sheet 1. It may be different in your uh, worksheet or in your workbook when you click OK in the descriptive statistics but uh, a new worksheet will be added. Click at the upper left hand corner of the Excel and double click at the boundary of columns A and B to adjust for the space. Notice that the values of the descriptive statistics in Excel consists of the mean, which is 38.41, standard error, median, which is 36, mode, which is also 36, standard deviation. This standard deviation is a sample standard deviation. This is a sample standard deviation because there are two standard deviations, population and sample. Hence, we have the sample variance that follows. This sample variance is the square of the sample standard deviation. There are also two variances, sample variance and population variance in statistics. Next, followed by courtesies, skewness, range, which is the Difference between the maximum and the minimum values, the sum of all the ages, this is the sum of all the ages, and the count, how many age values there are in the data. There are 100 because there are 100 respondents. So these values of the descriptive statistics in Excel will fill up the previously designed Excel template, which is in the data and group. It is data and group because the given is raw or ungrouped data. So, click on the data and group worksheet and fill up the blue cells. To fill up the blue cells from the worksheet provided by Excel for its descriptive statistics, click in cell D6, encode equals, and then click on sheet 1, which is the cell, the new cell provided by Excel, and click A1, 
which is the title of the descriptive statistics table, then enter. The statistics template is shown with its title, age in years. The next is to copy all the values of the descriptive statistics here in these blue cells. Click in cell E7 and then encode equals. Next is click on the sheet provided by Excel, which is in this case sheet 1, and click in cell B3, which is the value of the mean. After clicking at B3, which is the value of the mean, press Enter. In this case, the mean value is copied from the sheet provided by Excel to the template. Click again at E7 to go back at the value of the mean copied. While you notice here the course, the, the selector which is a cross colored white, you point the cross colored white to the lower right hand corner of this cell. When the selector which is a white cross is pointed to the lower right hand corner of E7, that white cross becomes black cross, which means the selector becomes a fill handle. Drag that fill handle towards the lower right-hand corner of cell E19 to copy all of the values of the descriptive statistics in Excel from sheet 1. So let's do it again. Here, click at E7, uh, point the white cross to the lower right-hand corner of E7. When the fill handle is shown, drag this fill handle towards cell E19 and all values of the descriptive statistics from sheet 1 are copied in the Excel template. Now, in this Excel template, notice that the added measurements are population standard deviation because the standard deviation provided by Excel descriptive statistics is the sample standard deviation, the population variance, the coefficient of variation from sample, and the coefficient of variation from population. Next, is the percentile rank and the percentile uh, point. Now, percentiles come from other location measures that describe the entire set of data. There are location measures that also describe the entire set of data, like the quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Quartiles Divide the entire set of data into four parts, designs into 10 parts, and percentiles 100 parts. Quartile 1 is equivalent to percentile 25. Quartile 2 is equivalent to the median or percentile 50, where quartile 3 is equivalent to percentile 75. There are also designs. Decile 1 equivalent to percentile 10, decile 2 is equivalent to percentile 20, and so on. Now, the process in these cells computing for percentile point values is this. When you are trying to find for a percentile rank of these 100 values, 100 uh, values here in our data, for example, since quartile 1 is already automatically computed, which is 26.5, this is another additional uh, location measure added in the Excel template. Quartile 3 is already added automatically, 47.25.
Then the interquartile range, which is just the difference between quartile 3 and quartile 1. And the quartile deviation, which is the semi-interquartile range or the interquartile range divided by 2. Now, there are other percentiles that may be computed, that can be computed. For example, any of percentiles 1 to 99, except percentile 25 because it's already computed as quartile 1, percentile 75, computed as quartile 3, including percentile 50, which is the median. So, other percentiles can be computed. For example, if you want to compute percentile 65, so you just have to encode 65 and the answer is 43, which means if you see 43 here, there is 43 in age. This is the 65th percentile rank, which means that 43 is an age that surpasses 65% of all the values in the data. If you want to compute other percentiles, like for example, if you want to compute uh, percentile 30, percentile 30 is also equivalent to decile 3. Percentile 30 is 28. If you see any 28 here, okay, which means that 28 is the age that surpasses 30% of all the values in the data. So that's how percentile rank and percentile point 28 that results from it is interpreted uh, from the data. But what if it's the opposite? The opposite is what if you are going to find a value here and encode it in this blue cell to determine the percentile rank of it. Example. 56, when encoded, produces a percentile rank of 88.8, .8, which means 56 is an age that surpasses 89% of all the data that is given. Another, for example, we have here uh, 40. So encode 40. So, 40 is a value that surpasses 61.9 or approximately 62% of all the age here in the given data set. Which means that this template is really automatic in the computation of values. One just needs to encode whatever he would like to find. So, that is how descriptive statistics is computed from a given set of raw or ungrouped data in my Excel template. Have a good day, everyone. God bless you. To God be the glory.